Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we are back in the wormhole system of J133121, a C3 wormhole with a high sec static. I was previously exploring in the system right here uh, with my purifier, it's got some scanning and hacking analyzing equipment right here as you can see and it's tech 2 as well i've recently got these tech 2 skills for doing the tech 2 hacking equipment and it's super effective i did one of these like dread garistas crystal quarry or garistas crystal quarry it's like a top tier relic sites and it actually went really smoothly uh something that inspired me to do this kind of exploration in the wormhole sites is because i was thinking of perhaps staying here for a little bit extended period of time not a long time what i mean is maybe a couple of days or something but uh, what i mean is it's not like just okay in and out i will stay here for a couple of days something that i was thinking of doing was using a mobile depot as sort of a mobile base of operation because you can't have citadels that are like very small that you could just quickly deploy for like you know solo people or very small groups the smallest citadel you can have is an astra who's and the thing is, the Astro who's it requires quite a bit of cost to set up and it also takes a bit of time and it can also be destroyed pretty easily and it's hard to move it. A mobile depot, however, can be moved quite easily and it sort of is like a nice little base for us as a solo pilot right here because we can store items in this mobile depot and we can also, we can have a little bit of like fitting uh, facilities right here. So this is very nice to having this little mobile depot because we can actually fit to an abyss fit right here because this purifier is made to do abyss the rigs we've got are for running the abyss you can see we've got a lot of application rigs right here flare and regal catalysts going on so we actually are a pretty decently like fitted purifier for that regard so we have some okay inherent application abilities in the ship but it's still not going to at all be good in a fight because it will just get annihilated really very quickly we don't have any scram we can't uh, scramble anyone but I don't know if you just saw, but when I scanned a cargo ship went away, uh, there have been a multiple uh, hauling ships here in the system. And I think this is a very common route for people to haul stuff because I've seen a lot of different uh, hauling ships, deep space transports, epithals. I think that this could be a system which people have PI in because it's got high sex static. So people have got like the PI stuff going on and then they have like high sex static to export them. It could be something, uh, it could be an option. I was thinking, that, oh, we could do a little bit of piracy, but this is not really something that I tend to do. And it's also not equipped for combat or PVP combat, this purifier right here. We're going to be focusing on just sort of living a little bit in this wormhole right here with a mobile depot. You can see here it's uh, deployed right here. So we can actually store some of our items in here. So we've got our torpedoes. Let's see now. We can store everything but our ammunition and then I repair paste. So everything we need to fit, we can store sort of in here like that. Let's see, now what is worth a lot right here? Let's see, now we can even store some ammunition. Maybe 500 of these ammunition, 500 is ammunition. We don't need so much ammunition in here because it's not like we're going to be in a, in a PvP fight doing a lot of fighting. Okay, so we can, we've can we got the ability to refit our ship. Descan, you see there's an epithel right here. I wonder where he is. I wonder where he is. Let's see now. Here, 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 here. Nope. Here, nope. Okay, so he's not in here buying any of the planets. Maybe he's in warp or something. I was thinking what we could do is we could scan the rest of these signatures right here because we could use this then to see if we can find some nice little hacking sites. We can cloak up here. No, actually, never mind. We're too close to this structure. Go a little bit to the side. Okay. What is the highest percentage? Previously in the Gristis Crystal Quarry, it was quite unfortunate because I didn't get actually particularly good loot. I would have hoped to get quite a bit of loot, but I only got like 12 million. I think that's a pretty low amount of isk for the high tier relic sites. But then again, I haven't done actually relic sites in a really long time. So it might be that I'm just not used to the way it used to be. I've heard there's been a lot of new players in the game pretty recently. Could be that that's driving a lot of the prices down with all the exploration loot. Okay, a wormhole. I wonder where this mastodon is. Uh, because there's a mastodon in the system, as you can see here. I wonder where he's transporting from. Wormhole to wormhole or from some kind of structure in space? I need to be a bit of distance away from this mobile depot to be able to 
uh, activate my cloaking device. That's why I moved a little bit to the side right there. Okay, another wormhole. What right here? This is probably wormy, yeah. This is probably this wormhole right here that we came through. We'll see by just scanning it like that. Yeah, there we go. Another wormhole. What type of ships do you guys use who'd like to do stuff in wormholes solo? Is there any particular ship you guys like to use? Because I know a lot of people use the Tech 3 Cruisers. I think the Tech 3 Cruisers are really... Uh, they seem to be very popular as far as I know because they're very versatile. You can have them to be good at scanning, they're pretty good at combat, they can have them to be good at hacking even, and they're just overall very powerful ships. And they can fit into wormholes as well. And most of all, they can fit a pretty good uh, cloaking device as well. So they can get through undercover without getting caught as easily as other ships. So I think that's why they're very popular. Otherwise, Stratios is on as well. I know they're very popular. And they're Astero too. What kind of ships do you guys like to use and why? I'd be quite curious to know. Relic Sight. Oh, yeah. I hope it's one of those Gersters Crystal Quarries again. Let's see. Uh, like a... a uh, exploring ship or like uh, someone who's trying to do exploration i'll decide to attack the, oh it's ruined blood raider i think it is like uh the drive ruined grister's uh, crystal quarry like a high tier uh relic site but for the blood raider instead but i think that if we do see someone what we'll do is we'll try to attack them and they're probably very likely going to get away because we don't have any kind of warp scrambling technique. But it'll be fun to see what we can do because we're very fast. So we can easily disengage, I think, if we see that oh, they're going to get close to us. Well, it'll be interesting to see how good damage we apply to them. <laughs> yeah, let's see what have we got here. Can remove the scanners. There we go. And we can go to the ruins, which are the best ones. Lock this up. Oh, we're cloaked. That's why. Use the MWD to get a bit closer. Scan to scan. Get to this ruins over here. Ruins are the best. Then remains. I think remains. And then rubble is the third worst. And then there is another one. I think debris is the absolute worst type of hacking site. You'll soon slow down because we're getting with the we're approaching with a pretty fast velocity. There we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Relic Analyzer. Oh, this is a big grid we've got over here. Some hacking equipment. Hacking buffs. It's really useful to be able to have the good Tech 2 data analyzers and Relic Analyzers because I'm able to, with two shots, take out these guys. I wouldn't usually be able to do that. Those, these guys are really good. They do a lot of damage. And consistent damage as well. Okay. Scan. Anything here? Ruins. 18 million. Okay. That's a decent amount of isk right there. Let's see now. Another ruins over here. I'll go to this one. Unlock this guy. Maybe lock up some of these other ones. What's the lock range of the purifier? Because the purifier has a pretty long range. It's 75 kilometers, it says here. Pretty decent range for a little frigate right here. That's usually what you get from cruisers. I know my Gila, at least in the Abyss, it uses... Uh, 70 something kilometer lock range similar to this it's pretty impressive because usually the smaller ship the smaller the lock range you can see what capital ships lock range are actually avatar lock range of 300 kilometers so we can get a decent amount of lock range there okay now stop now stop now stop now stop now okay now in range of this yeah the tech 2 relic analyzers are amazing because we get a lot more damage than we do to these mp these like um antiviruses we can kill them easier and also we have a bit of bigger range so it's harder to like get out of range of the the scanning activity or the scanning cam there's something over here let's go for this one oh never mind oh whew. a lot of not a pod okay Ooh. heron heron nearby this is quite useful. I wonder if the heron is going to come here. See what we can do against the heron. There we go. Got the... Oh, come on. Can we do it? Can we do it? No, I should not have opened that. That was a really bad decision right there. Every single one. Damn, we got annihilated right there. Okay, let's try again. 
That was a really bad fail right there. I just got a bit stressed out about the heron. I was like, well, I'm thinking what we're going to do is a heron right here. But I shouldn't really get stressed out about herons. Even a tech 2 frigate, I shouldn't be stressing myself out about. But this it's all just for fun. It's all just for fun. See that anything here? Nope. There it is. Okay, hacking complete. 17 million again. Ooh, got some decent isk right here. Nice. We've got almost our whole ship's worth of cargo back. That's actually quite nice to see. I'll go towards this remains over here. Actually, no, there's one a lot closer. Yeah, this one here. I thought I was going to the 60 kilometer one. That's a decent amount of isk. We've already got twice, more than twice the amount of isk as we got from that whole crystal quarry I went to before. So that's very, I'm very happy about this. Mastodon, okay. Mastodon. The cargo ships we've been continuously seeing in the system. Relic analyzer. And it is just so much easier. I think I might even want to go with an interceptor. With a tech 2 hacking equipment. Because it just seems so easy with a tech 2 hacking equipment. Mm -hmm. Because a purifier has is as good as a interceptor to do hacking. It's going to just obviously be a lot slipperier. But also a bit... It's not actually it's as squishy. Maybe even less squishy. There it is. Open this up. Half a million. When I see the icons change to like being blank when you've harvested or grabbed the loot from one of these containers, I get a little bit like spooked because it feels like something has changed here. And if something changes here, it means that, well, instinctively I'll think that, oh, someone who's just jumped in here because I just see in like sort of my peripheral vision that something has a new like, entity, like a player ship has entered the grid. So then I think that, oh, I see something change. It must be a player, but it's just that these icons have changed to empty. Okay, approach this blood remains. Probably I should even remove these from the overview. It would perhaps be a better better option for being a bit safer, but it's all right. Let's go and blitz through these. These are easy sites right here, not the difficult ones. Repair tool. Open this up, 150k, nothing right there. Approach this little remains over here. Unlock the one that we are not bothering with. I do not need to lock it up again, please. Use MWD to get a bit closer. Scan doesn't show anything. It's really uh, very worthwhile as a new player to do this kind of stuff in a very cheap tech one ship because your ship is worth so little, like maybe max 3 million. So even if you lose your ship, it's going to be totally worth it because you'll pretty much from one, just one of these sites earn everything back anyway. It's a very worthwhile activity to do, especially when luck is on your side like you are now. It can be quite as well exciting because you never know really what you'll get. I remember in the beginning when doing these, I was just like so happy I became when I actually saw the ISK flying in. Scanning and hacking like we're doing right now is the first way I ever earned proper ISK. I never earned proper ISK before then. It was just really bad. I, I seeing those extra zeros on the end of the income we got here was just it was just eye opening for me. It just felt like very surreal. This is not this is not true, right? I don't get that much ISK. But yeah, that's the really how it was. I was just like, wow, how much ISK do I get here? But I was obviously I was lucky when I saw that for the first time. Then afterwards, I got a lot of containers that had hardly anything in. It was pretty bad, but still a lot better than anything I had before. So I just kept on doing exploration. And exploration was probably one of the primary isk making methods I ever had as an alpha clone until Abyss was op before Abyss came along. And when I mean exploration, I mean like hacking exploration like we're doing right now. Anything here. There we go. Easy. Five million. Okay, we'll go to our mobile depot now. Dump our loot. Hmm. See if we can how the loot over there is going. It's it's fun to have your little mobile base like this, actually. It's fun to have a little mobile base. I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's like feels like we've got a little campfire we've set up right here in space. It's quite cozy actually. I will say that. I kind of wish they would expand upon the mobile depot concept because I like the concept of having a little base that you could have in space, refit, have a bit of cargo storage right here. But maybe if something a tiny bit bigger than a mobile depot, like a like a large mobile depot, maybe this is a small one that you can have a large one. Maybe you could do a little bit more uh, facilities then. We have a bit more cargo space. Maybe even have the ability to have a little bit like maybe shielded or something. I don't know. You can have a bit more 
Like you can be a bit more defended here. Not that you could have like invulnerability like as if you're docked up. But maybe so you're defended a little bit. So we got lit, quite a bit of isk actually. Not a little bit, quite a bit of isk right there. Okay, let's see now how much we've we got here. 45 million from that one site right there. So we've pretty much, well not pretty much, but we've almost earned back our ship. The ship fitting and the ship hull and rigs cost about 60 something million. Then with the extra equipment I've got for running the Abyss, it goes to about 70 something million, 79 million, I think. But just the Abyss fit costs like 60 million, something like that. So we have almost earned back our whole ship actually just from doing a few sites in the system right here. Just continue uh, scanning down the the sites right here or the wormhole sites to see if we can find anything interesting right here in the last ones we can just like fully clear the system then at least we will be able to like have an idea of what is here next time we can even save these results actually never mind we have to scan them now because if we scan them now we can just like save the name like QKX then wormhole then we know that oh that is a wormhole and if it doesn't exist then we know that that is despawned we can delete the bookmark because that's what wormholes do as far as I understand like people who when I say wormholes I mean people who live in wormholes they like scan everything down and then just give it a name okay put this mobile depot on scan on the oh it can be good to have that there okay gas site we do not need that what about this other one over here Oh, we're really far away now, suddenly. Nothing on the T-scan. Oh, a data site. Let's see if this is anything interesting. Unsecured Frontier. Frontier is a type of, like, drifter or sleeper data site. They're not really possible to run in what we've got right now. You need to have, like, a proper combat ship to run those. But anyway, that was a nice little relic site right there. Got a little bit of isk a bit of scanning as well you know what i think we'll do next time next time we'll go around try to spy on some people and if we don't find any people i was thinking we could do some abyss because we can try to see how it feels like to do abyss and go and dump our loot in this mobile depot over here our little mobile base in space right here this i think is pretty fun to have a little base in space that's actually one of the things that i was pretty surprised or not surprised but like happy about I was trying out, I deployed this mobile depot right here. Just it feels like we've got a little home in space now. I can even see on the mobile depot, it says something here. Capsule is the very own base in space, exactly. So that's quite cool. That's quite cool. I've never really considered the mobile depot for that purpose. I've just considered it to be like a fitting platform you can use mid combat in certain types of PvE activities. It's pretty fun. I'll walk back to this to be on top of this mobile depot. So that's enough for now. Next time abyss or spying on people we'll see what we come up with hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later